We shall now summarize all what we have done till now with the help of a project, a simple project rather. The whole objective being to clarify the concepts. We are not editing any sort as uh, any CSS or any colors. You can add them yourself. It is matter of about adding them to the layout. We are not going to add all those CSS and all. Just keeping the thing simple. We will try to display it like this. We will first of all display a table of animals. Like uh, name of the animal and uh, a details button, a delete so that uh, here it appears like uh, cheetah the name of the animal and then sorry detail this link or a delete one so that when the user clicks on the detail then he is taken to the new page and on that page he is able to read the details of this animal and come back. So it's basically about navigation and when he clicks the delete button the animal should vanish from the database. So this is what we start with. We'll add a couple of more things to it also as we go. So let us see how do we do this one with MVC. To begin with we have already created some of the things here. First of all an empty home controller with an index method. We haven't yet added the index view. An entity models folder plus database. In the database we have created a TBL animals having two columns animal code and animal name. And we also have added some data to it so that we save time. Animal code is in chimpanzee, lion followed by the names. Apart from this, coming back to the solution explorer, we have also added certain content also. It's my personal recommendation that put all your content inside content folder. It will keep your solution explorer very neat. So I have created a folder called website. Of course you could have given a better name. Themes is already there, site.css is already there and if you want to put any colors you can make use of the site.css, edit it according to your will or optionally add more CSS uh, files to the content folder. And uh, let me now go to the website, what does it contain? Inside it, we have pasted images as per the animal code. Oh, it was a mistake actually. As per the animal code. So if we look at here, cheetah corresponds to this, chimpanzee corresponds to this. Now, uh, it's my personal view that these pictures should not be added to the database. Keep your database light. Keep your database light. Content should always be put inside folders. You will find that maintenance is far far easier. All big websites they make use of direct backend FTP. There, there are seldom any changes to the code. Some frontend code might be written for adding new animals to this you can of course add in the coming lectures adding just to records or deleting but most of the content will reside in the file system and file system has to be named very correctly cheetah.html this contains the description of cheetah chimpanzee in this page this is a text file with the HTML extension